So when it comes to picking out your uh, flooring for your house, one of the hardest things to figure out, because when you get there, there's always a lot of selection. The best thing you need to know is how, how strong is this material? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over these four samples here, and we're gonna give them a quick scratch test. So what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna scratch it, and let's see if we get any scratches. So yep, I'm definitely seeing something here, and I'll show you that one. We're gonna do a scratch here. Not so bad. Right here. Absolutely nothing on this one. Not so bad either. And what you're seeing here is we, this one for sure, we definitely got this white and that's going to replicate you moving your couch or moving your coffee table when you're mopping. And that's a problem. We don't want something like this one. Here, not so bad. Here, absolutely nothing. And this one is actually the token one. So this one's a winner as well. And this one, we got nothing as well. So that's the first test. And anyone can do that when you get a sample and you take it home, you can give that one the simple coin test. Now, another real easy way that you can do at home to test the strength of your samples when you're trying to make the decision between which laminate flooring you want to choose is sandpaper. Very easy. Everyone has them in the garage. We're just going to do it and we're going to scratch them all and see where we uh, get the best results. Okay, that one got really scratched. Not so bad. Absolutely nothing. Once again, we're seeing scratch on this one again. So these two are definitely showing issues, but again, the token, foolproof. Now we'll just do the, uh, Oh, and these two also scratched very badly, actually. So once again, laminate is holding is, is holding as the winner, but token definitely doing an amazing job against this test. Okay, so another important test for you people out there who are actually doing laminate for the first time, what you're going to find is when you make your connection points here, when they're connecting between each other, the durability and the strength of that little, what we call the tongue and groove, so the groove section, the strength of this is important. It's important in multiple ways. When you're connecting, as well as when you're mopping or if any spills happen on your floor and the water gets in between that seal, you wanna make sure that it has uh, the ability to withstand the water. So here, I'm gonna put a little bit on each one and we'll take a look at the results. So a nice little bead. And I've installed many floors before, and the strength of this connection point right here is super important. It's gonna save you from wasting material because when you unpack it and you try to install it, they break easily, and it's just gonna cost you more money. So it's a small thing, but a very important idea here. So you can see that this one is actually getting drenched. So it is absorbing it. And the problem with that is it is going to weaken the material. So here with the token, what we see happening here is that there is a wax covering right on top, which allows the water just to sit on top. So it's not going to seep in and it's not going to create weakness. So this one is definitely go going to be better to install and it's going to keep longer in your house. Okay, now let us do what we call the formaldehyde test. In laminate, they use formaldehyde. And what is the issue with this? Well, over time, as you are mopping, we want to see if that smell of formaldehyde ends up coming in, which can be very toxic for your family. So when choosing a laminate, you wanna make sure that it's well sealed so that that scent of formaldehyde is not getting out and jeopardizing your family. So this is another test you could do at home. We're gonna shave a little bit off into this cup, and then we're gonna add water and we're gonna give it the, the smell test. Once again, this is a very easy experiment that you could do at home. As you can see, it's only gonna take you a couple seconds, but I'm telling you it's worth the time to pick the right quality, which will make the installation go in easier. Mm, very strong. Let me compare it. Not as strong. This one's definitely stronger.
not strong at all. Very strong. It's very distinct. These two have been, seems to be at the exact same quality. These are very strong. These ones barely anything. If not, nothing with this one. And once again, even the scratch test was very similar. These ones were very poor quality, but the token is holding, holding strong here. So what that means is over time, we can trust that it's not going to be releasing that smell and it's not going to be affecting your family in a negative way. And for the last test, we're going to actually take our four laminate pieces and we're going to soak them in water and we're gonna give you the results for one day, two days, and three days. Let the test do the talking and we'll show you the results. So the conclusion to all our tests and the simple tests that you could run at home is the token. The token has come to pass both scratch tests, sandpaper and coin. Once again, just to remind you, we did test the strength of this tongue and groove section, which once again, I'm telling you is so important. We do not want to underestimate how important this is when for installation and for the longevity of your flooring. And it has also passed the soak test. So just don't take my word for it. As you've seen on through these tests, why don't you come down to Token, grab yourself some samples, they'll be more than happy to give you some, and go home and try these for yourself. And then you can feel secure to come in and grab all your flooring at Token.